Look at that, no wheel uh, in the dashboard of that Tesla Model 3. You know, when we used to see pictures like this, it was kind of like a car of the future, my God, Liz. In a long, long time from now, in the year of 2020 or something crazy like that. But you know, this is going to be possible in the year 2020. Uh, that's what uh, we're gathering from Tesla. This is the rendering that they did. Um, let's talk a little bit about it. But other manufacturers have also released, you know, similar uh, pictures even before Tesla did. Let's talk about where this whole thing going and is this possible? And do we even want this? Uh, let's start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so this is pretty cool. Um, this is the picture they've re released. Uh, yeah, you know, they've only released two pictures <laughs> on their website, on their press kit website. Um, this one and the one of a chip. Like out of four and a half hours, they've only released that and in a, in a video of the uh, the the test driver list, fully self-driving test. And I showed it to you guys yesterday. I'll show it to, today as well. But it doesn't really apply to this as much because in and check this out. This is a kind of up close uh, look as well. If you've been in a Tesla Model 3 before, you know that that the that, that the wheel kind of almost looks like it's sticking out of there, like a mushroom out of the under the tree, right? This kind of almost doesn't belong there. So it and it looks like it's going to be able to uh, Tesla will be able to retroactively re remove uh, the steering wheel uh, once the software catches up with the uh, hardware that it has um, and kind of patch things up like it not nothing ever happened. I'm sure it's not going to happen anytime soon, but Tesla is claiming that, hey, the computer, the chip, the cameras, the the uh, radars that we're putting into the cars starting, I think, last week, this is all we need to make the steering wheel disappear. Now, they've promised that before. I know, I think it started with 2.0, and they have promised they retroactively update the uh, the computer, including the chip, uh, to the you know for those of uh, people who bought the full self-driving uh, feature, uh, and you know fair enough, they're going to do it for free. Probably going to take a while because there's got to be tens of thousands of those cars on the road right now, and the service centers are pretty overloaded, right? Um, but nevertheless, I mean, this is a, not a distance future. This is a near future. But let's, and, and this is all cool. Uh, let's look at a couple of other pictures from other manufacturers that we've seen before. But let's let's talk about where this is all going because this is not just a cool thing, right? This is going to be changing our lifestyle. And um, judging by what I've seen at CES, LA Auto Show, and overall, the, you know, the, the boring seminars that a lot of, you know, you don't get to see because we don't make videos about boring seminars. Um, I Overall, now that we have exciting pictures like this, we can talk about where this is actually going because there are a few different choices of where, how, where, where this can go. And I just kind of want to tell you guys about that. Before that, of course, I want to mention that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the all-electric Mbyte that's starting at $45,000 coming to the U.S. and Europe next year. Over 50,000 reservations made around the world. I don't know why you wouldn't have yours by now. If you don't, you should definitely do it because it doesn't cost you anything. Um, you can go to python.com. Uh, the link is also in the description of this video. Check out the shared experience dashboard screen, uh, one of five screens in that car. All right. So let's talk about what we've seen from other manufacturers. I'm sure you guys seen this one. Uh, this is from... Um, well, this is essentially Chevy Bolt that they're calling GM Cruise because uh, it's the cruise company that they've acquired uh, to do the self-driving uh, uh, technology. Then uh, we have seen this one, uh, which is just came out. This is an Audi AI Me concept. As also you can see, the steering wheel kind of goes in, and then the little tray, like at the air, like in the airplane, for you know, to have your lunch or have your laptop on there, comes out. So that's pretty cool as well. And we've seen quite a few other things. Now, now that the Tesla is really close to the whole self-driving thing, and you know, this is the video that you guys have seen before, um, you know, well, before yesterday, really. And it is really cool. As you can see, the person is just sitting there kind of uh, resting his hands on his knees. But what are we going to do with this? Where is this all going? So there are a couple of different ways how are people going to look at it. One is this is going to be essentially the whole thing is going where no one's going to really own their own car. Everything's going to be car sharing service because essentially why keep 
you know, these cars, maintain them, uh, have them in your garage, you know, you could be a separate, you know, extra room, uh, you know, when you can just call one up and then they will drive you to wherever you are, your phone's going to get connected to the entertainment system and off you go. It's really going to be no different like, you know, when you're flying on a plane or going on a bus or a train and so forth, it's going to be the same type of an experience, right? So that's where this is definitely going for sure. Whether it's going to be taking over our entire lives, it's possible. The, you know, obviously, companies like Uber and maybe even Tesla will be pushing for that. Um, now, on another hand, you know, there is something to the fact that, you know, just like I don't want my couch or my TV be used by anybody else, even though I know there's Airbnb, but not everybody makes their house Airbnb or an apartment when they leave because they don't want people sleeping in their beds and using their toilets and you know tv sets and so forth i know i wouldn't i only like only one butt on that toilet and it's mine so that i'm, I'm out and just like i wouldn't i wouldn't let my car be shared by other people i don't want to throw up on my leather or whatever seats you know when it gets returned so people like me would still want to keep their own vehicles, even yes, they will be sitting around doing nothing, but so is my couch, so is my bed. My bed is standing, you know, right next room there, next to my home studio, and it's not doing anything. I'm a perfectly fine, okay, uh, fine with that, because once I go there, I want it to be untouched, and I want it to be mine, and I want it to smell like, well, nothing, nothing. I want it to be smell like nothing. So that's why I'm keeping it over there, and I'm not renting it out as an Airbnb. And I think a lot of us will be kind of having the same sense sentiment with our cars so you know but now that we're gonna not gonna have to drive these cars and as a matter of fact when this technology will take over they will be much safer right you will definitely know that it's doing a much better job than you would then what do we do i don't want to be just sitting like this uh in my car when i have all this time even now when we are driving we're on our phones we're listening to music some people watching youtube right so um, that's what it's going to turn into, right? It's going to turn into either our living rooms or our, our playgrounds for kids even, uh, or, or offices. And as you guys have seen that more and more people and you know brands really are talking about uh, a configurable car. So when you're gonna buy your car, you will either configure it saying like, well, I have a one kid, so I need a child seat here, but there are only two of us. And so we need to face each other. I like to work, so I'll have a laptop little station built in. My wife will have a little TV screen to watch it with a baby. You know, you can configure your car to, your, um, to, to whatever it is that you want. Um, but a lot of those car, cars will be reconfigured but kind of lego like uh configurations where inside you'll be like okay well today we're having a family trip so that's our configuration but tomorrow i'm actually going to have a business meeting with with somebody with a business partner or whatever so we need we need a conference screen and a camera to talk to somebody and laptops set up and this is going to be different configuration in the car and i think this is really really awesome you know byton obviously the they, they are the sponsor of this channel, but one of the reasons I like them is because their experience with all these five screens is really what these cars can become very soon. Even their seats rotate a little, uh, so when they do achieve level four autonomy with their software, you can actually turn them around and be able to talk to people in the back. I think it's really cool. This is kind of a beginning of what our change in our lifestyle is going to be in the future. It is really exciting. It's really cool to see these pictures knowing that they're not just kind of like, oh, cool, our kids will definitely enjoy it. It's like, no, this is, could be, this is going to be us in just in the next two or three years. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, weekly exclusive newsletter, the VIP list, as we're calling it, because we'll, we're sent out, we're, we send out every week uh, uh, news stories that we don't cover uh, or don't have time to cover on this channel and uh, on our website. So check it out. Just go to e4lecture.com slash VIP. Um, also want to thank one of my newer Patreons, Mike. Thank you uh, so much for becoming uh, a Patreon. The only place where you can uh, watch me alive. Thank you for contributing and supporting my channel. Uh, you can become one at patreon.com slash e4 electric all right guys well let me know in the comment section would you want to have your own car in the future and have it reconfigurable for your friends and family and and business or would you just want an uber like service that will come uh, whenever you need the car let me know in the comment section other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged